Hey guys, it's Jeff Farina with PocketNow.com and it's time to give you the hardware overview of the Dell Streak Android tablet. Alright, and we're back and we're going to jump right in and kind of giving you some info of this device itself. It's a very unique device. It is a 5 inch screen which is quite big for Android. It also weighs more than most phones, not only because of the screen, but because of the actual construction of the device itself. So, looking right here at the front of the device, we have the three capacitive buttons. You have your home, your menu, and your back button. To the top, we also have the earpiece, as well as a front-facing camera, and your light and proximity sensor. And then on the back of the phone itself, we have the Dell logo with a 5-megapixel camera, no flash, unfortunately. Now, this is all metal. It is somewhat hard to tell but this will actually slide off right here this is the back piece and that is a metal panel now your speaker is actually here however the speaker is pretty garbled which you'll hear in our next video and when we do a YouTube test the speaker is very very disappointing unfortunately it's a good size but it sounds almost like the people that are talking are talking underwater it may be this model maybe the speakers blown maybe it's a defect however Right off the bat, it's easy to say the speaker is definitely lacking. We have a 1530 hour milliamp battery, as well as your SIM card slot. And right on top of that, you have a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. Moving on to the right side of the device, we have a dedicated camera button, which is always nice. We have your power button, which will turn off the phone as well as bring it out of the lock state. And then your volume rocker up, down, as well as a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Top of the phone follows that very smooth finish. The right side of the phone is going to be the connector to charge. While the connector does look very similar and strike a close resemblance to the Apple connector, it is not the same. Now included with the device is also a sleeve that Dell wants you to use to actually protect the tablet itself. However, something to keep in mind here is this actually has a Gorilla Glass screen, which is very unique as this is one of the first devices to fully utilize that. It is one of the harder screens very difficult to break and scratch are the rumors. It is certainly a heavier device with both the sides, the whole back panel here, as well as the back battery panel being made out of metal. The device comes in weighing at around 220 grams, which is pretty heavy. Once again, the five inch screen does add to that factor. It's also going to have a five inch capacitive screen with a resolution of 480 by 800 pixels. So it's a pretty decent picture as you can see. It's much better than some of the phones in the past and it's up to par with some of the current devices. As far as the connectivity goes, this device is capable of using both Edge and HSDPA for the 3G as well as the UMTS. It is going to use the GSM signals of 850 megahertz, 900 megahertz, 1800 and 1900 megahertz. As far as the 3G compatibility goes on this device, there are actually two different models based on where you're going to be buying it from. The first of which is actually created for the European market with HSDPA compatibility of 900 and 2100 megahertz. And the second of which will work in the US and some of the other countries which is going to be compatible with HSDPA 850, 1900 and 2100. So they basically give you that 850 megahertz band that AT&T will use for the 3G. It will come with a 16 gigabyte micro SD card with 512 megs of ROM and RAM, which will allow you to install the applications to the device itself. However, you can also upgrade that memory card like the standard amount to 32 gigs currently. A little bit more on the connectivity front. It is capable of reaching up to 7.2 megabits per second on the HSDPA side of things. If of course your carrier is capable of giving you that amount of signal. It also has Bluetooth 2.1 and Wi-Fi B and G signal. All right, and now it's time for a first. We're actually gonna show you a pocket test of these devices. So here in my left pocket, I have the HTC Evo 4G. As you can see here, you can really not tell that it's there. I mean, you can see a little bit here on the back end. Now on the right side, I have the Dell Streak. There is a little bit of a portion that actually sticks out. It is much bigger going up a stair. As you can see here, it actually gets pretty tight on the leg, on the thigh area, and it, it does kind of stick out and jab into you. People can definitely see that and wonder, what is that in your pocket? As you can see here, Dell Streak. So it, it definitely is pocketable. Uh, if you're going to run a marathon, I would say it probably gets uncomfortable after a while. I can definitely see running into a corner and catching this on something. It has that Gorilla Glass screen, so that might help it. However, it does protrude a little bit. Overall, 
The device is certainly pocketable, however, it is much bigger than what you are typically used to. It is thinner than the HTC Evo 4G, though that is something to keep in mind. All in all, the Dell Streak so far is a very solid device. We will give you an example of some of the 5 megapixel back camera pictures, as well as some of the front facing pictures in our final review over at pocketnow.com. Be sure to stay tuned for the next video in this series, which will be the second part of the software overview. We'll give you a little bit more in-depth look at the browser, YouTube, and actually give you a speed comparison to the HTC Evo 4G. If this device interests you, you can actually go ahead and check it out at negreelectronics.com. As always, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Please give us a thumbs up and leave us any type of comment with any questions or suggestions you may have. Thanks, everyone.